this episode. Oh! I apologize for the air conditioning. I can't turn it down. So here we are at the beach. I hope you like that little montage. It was four and a half hours in the making. I'm at the beach. I'm gonna do lots of reading, I'm gonna do lots of research. Research in preparation for Camp Nano. Um, and I'll have a video out later about what I'm doing for Camp Nano. I'm really excited. Tonight, I'm going to be doing some more research. On the car ride here, we listen to the house, the house on the, in the Cerulean Sea. I'll put up the cover by Judy Kloom. It's an audiobook and we got like three hours in. It's good. It's slow at the beginning, but it was on purpose and it's good. Tonight, I'll be reading some To the Lighthouse, something I didn't finish. Um, but maybe I can keep this, this finishing book train going. This book. And look, I have. I got waves on my nails. Anyway, it's been months. I feel like I could I could start over. Or I'll just look up the spark notes. But thanks for coming with me to the beach. Today's Friday night and we are leaving Sunday afternoon. So tomorrow's a whole day of opportunity. And it's fitting, we're at the beach. Lighthouse Beach makes sense to me. Especially because for part of Nano, I'm gonna start rereading Seaside. It's gonna be good. And that's a wrap. Look at bright. Let's go to the beach. That was probably too much leg. <laughs> anyway, there are thunderstorms coming later, so now is the only time. I definitely have some beach hair. Let's go to the beach. You know that feeling when you're walking outside and you're completely <laughs> sunscreened? So like, it feels bad to be in the sun, but like, wait, you don't have sunscreen on, so it's fine, but like, Part of me is always worried that, ooh, I'm still gonna get burned. Here's to not getting sunburned. There were more people here than I expected, which, I mean, it's a beach, duh. There seem to be less people over here, so that's good. What I most love about the beach is that, like, I can just walk. Ooh, the water's cold. <laughs> um, my mind, like, very easily just listens to the ocean and it just goes places. Is It really allows me to, to brainstorm and... That's why I'm excited to be here today. And can we check out the beach hair? <laughs> Look at that. I'm gonna shower tonight. <laughs> anyway, I might listen to some of my audiobook. I have 30 minutes left in We Are Okay by Nina LaCour. Maybe when I'm done, I'll turn around and start to think of some ideas for me. Okay, see you in a bit, if you can hear this at all. I hope you can hear this.
Scythe? Who would name their character Scythe? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm just trying to find names. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it is not. Shout out to Nameberry. Beach day two. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. I got my sunscreen on, very important. Real quick, I just wanted to show you the bookshelf this condo offers. It's not very large. Hmm, lovely. I'd like to point out the High School Musical CD and the Adele CD. Um, they've got one Nora Roberts book. Ah, yes, this one. Otherwise, I don't recognize any of these. I'm really glad that I brought my own book though. So anyway, beach day two. Probably do some more reading of To the Lighthouse. I've also been listening to What If It's Us, and that's co-written by Adam Silvera and one other author. I think her name is Becky. Um, I'll put the cover up. But it's really good because I think it would be a good comp title to put in a query letter for Seaside. But yeah, and I'm just like having a good time making little blog arcs. Ooh, remember that. Ooh, remember that. So I can come back to it and take notes on it later. Second beach day. Back in my room where it's nice and warm. There's no beach waves to get in the way of my sound. We did some good reading. I read about 30 pages in Virginia Woolf's To the Lighthouse. I got two hours into What If It's Us. I finished We Are Okay and I am five and a half hours in to the house in the Cerulean Sea. Good reading weekend. It was very relaxing. That's it for me. Bye. Pretty sure you're gonna fall when I get up. <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs>